So what happens when we want to, again, create now instead of queries, we built a few different queries. I want to create now some forms and reports. I want to go ahead and uh, have customized uh, ways we can view my data. So the first one is I want to go ahead and, again, come to my Create tab. But instead of going to that Form button that did all the work for us, this time I'm going to come to uh, Form Wizard. Now, luckily, the form wizard kind of goes through the song and dance for us. But what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to make a new patient form. So that patient option, I went ahead and just looked for my patient table. And then I will go ahead and just click everything in there. Again, we're dealing with a new patient. And I click on next. The next thing it asks me is uh, how do you want the data presented? Do you want it in columnar, tabular, data sheet? Those look very similar to what we were just looking at, or justified. I'll keep mine columnar just for that, you know, sake. And pretty much that's it. No, we're going to call this uh, new patient form, and I'm going to just hit finish. That's going to open it up, and you see we get exactly that. We now have a way to look at our patient data. Now, herein lies a little bit of a, a thing. If you look at it, it looks terrible. It looks pretty bad. How do I fix it? Just like we did with our table and our query, we could switch between views. I can switch between my views and go to layout view. Layout view, notice I can't type anything. I can't start to type anything in. But as I mouse to the left, you see I can actually resize these things. I can change the layout so that all of my data kind of has a more uniform look to it. Now for this, because it's a date, it's going to be right aligned. How do I change that? Just like we did in Microsoft Word and Excel. I have my alignment sections. All I have to do is say align left. Done. Come down here one more time for my email, and boom. That's everything in a nutshell for just a very simple form. Now what happens if I want to make a more complicated form? Again, why would I make a new patient? Well, it's probably because you came to visit. So let's actually, this time, do the same thing. Form wizard, patient, add all that information in. But now I actually want to add in more data. I want to add in the reason for their visit. So I'm going to add in everything again. But you notice how I have this visit.patient ID and then I have this patient.patient ID? Well, I only need one of those. I don't need them both because, again, they're supposed to be linked together. So I just get rid of one of them. Again, you notice it's going to get rid of the patient ID because I don't need to uh, differentiate between the two of them. I'm going to click on Next, and it's going to ask me, how do I want to organize my data? Well, again, any one patient can uh, go to many uh, visits, can have many visits, versus any one visit can have many patients. doesn't work that way. It's the opposite. So I want to organize my data. Think of this like the group by, uh, by my patient. How do you want to view your data? We'll just keep it as data sheet. We hit Finish. What do you want to name this stuff? Uh, new patient with visit, visit subform. When we hit finish, we get the exact same thing. Notice again, we see all of our data and then we now have a subform as well. Again, if I want to clean this up, I can click on my view and I can now just change this up a little bit. This doesn't have any correlation to the first new patient form we made. This is a completely new form. So I do have to go through the song and dance again of cleaning this up, just making sure everything stays a little more organized. Let me, I'm a stickler for this stuff to be a little perfect. There we go. The last thing I'm gonna do is change, well, not last, but I'm gonna also do this. Notice again, this is data that I can organize. I can resize this guy to appear on the same line and I'm going to just bring it out so that we can see all of it as well. So now if I ever had a new patient, say for example I come all the way down to the end, I'm going to make a new patient by switching my view, heading to my design tab, switching my view. Again, I have a new patient, so uh, two, 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 or 
two, 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 two. I don't think anyone's uh, got that one. What's their last name? Uh, Reynolds. Uh, Burt. Uh, when was Burt Reynolds born? I don't know. We'll say he was born. You know what? That's going to take a lot of clicking, so I'm just going to say 1 slash 1 slash 1965. What's his phone number? 910 8675309. Email is Bert at Reynolds.com. Again, because I have this new patient, this new patient probably has a new visit. Well, guess what? Oh, there you go. I can now insert a new visit ID. So I'm just going to say arbitrarily uh, 7890. When did he visit? Well, he visited today. And what was the reason? Uh, daily Botox shot. I don't, I don't know. Um, and it was a walk-in. So now, again, that data comes over to my patient information. I go all the way down to the bottom. Or what did I name? What number did I give him? 22222. So he would probably be right there, Burt Reynolds. I click on the little drop down. You see I have his Botox shot. Now there are no invoices for that, but hey, I could make that as well. 